Hi, and welcome to the five minute check in. Well, kids are back to school, the temperature's dropping a little bit, the colors on the trees are starting to happen, and I can smell the pumpkin spice inside the coffee shops when I get coffee just now. Um, I'm ready for my pumpkin spice latte. Are you, Dr. McGinn? No, you're one of the, yeah, I am just a traditional, you know, coffee with a splash of milk in it. But God, I'm happy that you guys are all happy and, and getting those very expensive drinks. That's great. But what this does remind us uh, is that we're about to enter the cold and flu season. And that's why we have our expert with us today, Dr. Renuga Vivekananda, who is the CMO for the Physician Enterprise in the Midwest and a professor of medicine at Creighton University and an infectious disease specialist. So thank you for joining us back again. Well, thank you for having me today to discuss this important topic. Yeah, so we're at the beginning of this season. So it's important for us to get ready now as we prepare both as clinicians and as patients to think what we're gonna to do to get ready for the season. Um, as always, you know, we're going to try to use a crystal ball and predict what's coming at us. And we're going to look mostly at the first, the big three, uh, influenza, our new friend COVID, and RSV. We're going to end with a conversation that's in the news, which is MPOX and West Nile virus. But let's, let's talk about the big three viruses and what we're doing. So let's start off with influenza. Yeah, influenza right now is low activity. I was just looking at the CDC ILI uh, map, but again, it's going to be very critical for us to get vaccinated for all of the viruses during fall time. So influenza vaccine is available and it's going to be really important for everybody to get that this season. Great. And, and when we're looking down south uh, at our friends in the Southern Hemisphere, it seems like we're having an average numbers. Is that accurate? Yeah, they're having an average number and just like we expect every year. So it we will see a nice surge in influenza infection. So it's going to be just like, again, getting those vaccines are going to be really important because we do have a lot of hospitalizations for our high-risk individuals when they get influenza infection in the fall, winter time. Great. Great. Let's talk about COVID. Uh, what's yeah. the latest update on our COVID predictions and the vaccine? Uh, just like last year, we're going to have, again, COVID infections. Um, so I think it's going to be really important to get the vaccine. The new uh, strains vaccines are available in the market. So I think all of all of us should be getting vaccines, especially healthcare workers, high-risk individuals, so we could protect us and the community. So the third virus that we usually talk about in the fall is RSV. The subtle changes here in, in who we as clinicians recommend get this vaccine. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so last year was 60 years and older, and this year mm -hmm. it's 75 and older. But if you're 60 and if you have high-risk condition, they recommend still the RSV vaccine. So just a little change in the age, but it's mm -hmm. still going to be very important to get the vaccine because, you know, as you know, high-risk individuals get RSV, get admitted to hospital. So it's going to be important to get the vaccine. So we have our big three fall viruses, uh, you know, flu, COVID, and RSV. Um, every year, you and I look at the numbers and we see this fall peak and numbers increase for admissions to hospitals and intensive care and even wow. mortality from these things. So so just to all of us, just to really emphasize to our physicians and APPs to promote the, vi the vaccines in this case every fall. Yes, completely agree. Great. All right, let's switch gears a little bit. In the news, there's been two other viruses, MPOX. In the West Nile virus. Let's why don't we start with West Nile because I think our 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 uh, our fearless leader during COVID, uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci, uh, publicly announced that he had West Nile. So tell us a little about what's happening there. Yeah, you know West Nile, we do see cases during summer, fall, springtime when there's mosquitoes. And looking at the CDC data, we only had about 500 cases this year that was reported. So again, West Nile, it's important to prevent mosquito bites. So it's going to be important to use mosquito repellent, wear the proper garments, that's going to be able to prevent that. So every season, I think that's going to be really important to think about. And for West Nile, usually the treatment is supportive care. Great. MPOX, a lot in the news here. We've seen a lot going on in Africa and even some activity here in the U.S. So what are we thinking here? Yeah, so MPOX, you know, it's in the news. There's a new clade in Africa that everybody's talking about. Um, you know, WHO declared emergency, so we all start, um, you know, doing surveillance, keeping an eye on things. There's only a couple of cases that has been outside of Africa, but it's really important that 
we might see some cases so that getting vaccinated for our high risk groups is going to be important and usually it's spread through close contact. So that's important to be aware. So low numbers, uh, mostly in Africa right now, but we're on alert. We're paying close attention and there is a vaccine available for those at high risk, which is really through close contact. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll keep us updated. So this is the beginning of the season. Uh, highly recommending everybody get promote the vaccine, and but we're going to come back together and talk what's happening uh, in a couple of months, where the number's heading, and have a further yeah. discussion with you. Yeah, happy to be back to discuss our trend. Great. Well, always great to talk to you. Thanks for everything you do, and I'll see you in a couple of months when we touch base on what's happening with the fall virus season. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you in two weeks at the next 5-Minute Check-In.